You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Saturday Morning Theater proudly presents The Mysterious Mysteries of Toby Taylor, the Fruit Magician! Young Toby Taylor is known worldwide as the Fruit Magician, a master illusionist who can perform feats of astonishing prestidigitation. Toby Taylor eschews the traditional tools of the trade, such as playing cards, rabbits, blinking rings, preferring to use only the freshest of fruit in his act. Toby has another talent as well, solving mysteries. With his lovely assistant and devoted sister Rebecca Taylor at his side, there is no mystery that can't be cracked by Toby Taylor, the Fruit Magician! Today's episode, The Haunted Department Store, Chapter 4. When last we left Toby Taylor, the Fruit Magician, and his sister Rebecca, they were posing as employees at Filker's Department Store while they investigated reports of a ghost haunting. After coming face to face with a frightful fiend once, they have now discovered a secret hidden passage in the wall of the department store. It's in this secret passage we now find Toby and Rebecca. Sure is dark. That it is, sis. But we've got to discover where it leads. This is obviously where the ghost of Filker Richardson appeared from. Well, unless he's really a ghost. There's no such thing as ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Look here. There's a sliver of light coming out from underneath this section of the wall. It's another wooden door. Where does it lead? I don't know. Let me see if I can find the latch. Aha! Is it opening? No, it feels like there's something heavy against it. Let me help you push. No good. Whatever's against this door is really heavy. But the passage continues that way. Yeah, maybe wherever this faux ghost of Filker Richardson came from is further down. Let's go see. Oops. Well, uh, the passage ends right here. A dead end. No, wait. There's another door. Are you going to open it? I'm going to try anyway. There we go. And it doesn't feel like it's blocked. Quiet for a second. Mm Mm-hmm. Huh? Rebecca, I said be quiet. We don't know who could be on the other side of this door. Now let me peek out. It's an office of some sort, and there's a sign there. Oh my goodness, this is the first national savings and loan. Well, this explains it. It must be that Mr. Lockwood who's posing as the ghost in order to take the department store for the bank. What was that? Rebecca? That sounded like the door at the far end of the passage. (sighs) Rebecca! Rebecca, are you still here? Where did you go? Well, here's the end of the passage. Rebecca! Rebecca! What in blue blazes is going on here? What's with all the shouting? Mr. Gilmore, have you seen my sister? No, I ain't seen her since we all spoke in the big and tall section earlier. You sure you didn't see her come this way? Son, I just came through the door to the stock room when you came to the end of this aisle here. John, Toby, what's the matter? Mrs. Richardson, have you seen my sister? Why, no. I was working away in my office, and I heard yelling, so I ran in here to see what was going on. My sister and I had seen this mysterious ghost of yours earlier, and then when we were checking out where it had appeared from, we found a secret passage. Secret passage? Yes, that leads from your stockroom here to the First National Savings and Loan next door. That's the old bootlegger's run. It was used during Prohibition. was there when your great-grandfather bought the building. Leads to the bank, because that used to be a speakeasy. Why, I had no idea. If I remember correctly, it's also got a passage that leads to your office, Mrs. Richardson. My office? Yes. Door is right behind that big antique armoire you have in your office. I had no idea. That armoire has been there since my great-grandfather ran the store. Well, that explains why I couldn't get that door open. But all this is irrelevant. We must find my sister. What do you think happened to her? I think finding this secret passageway was getting a little too close to discovering the secret of Filker Richardson's ghost. And whoever's behind this whole scam did something to Rebecca. Who could it be? My prime suspect right now is Mr. Lockwood. The bank man? Yes. My theory is he's playing dress-up as great-grandfather Filker in order to make this store close so that the bank can take it over. Mrs. Richardson, call him and get him over here. I'd like to present him with the evidence and ask him where my sister is. And while you're at it, call the police as well. No need. I'm here already. And I brought the police with me. Well, 
Toby Taylor was ready to point the finger of blame at Thomas Lockwood as being the culprit behind Rebecca's disappearance and the haunting at Filker's department store. But now Mr. Lockwood has arrived at the store with the police in tow. What could this all mean? You'll find out in the next exciting chapter of The Mysterious Mysteries of Toby Taylor, the Fruit Magician! This episode of The Mysterious Mysteries of Toby Taylor, the Fruit Magician, starred Molly Fight as Rebecca Taylor, Patrick Bristow as Gilmore, the security guard, Jane Entwistle as Mrs. Richardson, Michael Ostrom as Thomas Lockwood, Grant Pachoco as Toby Taylor, and Kevin Burnson as the narrator. Music for this episode by Dan Ring. The Mysterious Mysteries of Toby Taylor, the Fruit Magician, is a production of Saturday Morning Media and made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly donation for as little as a dollar a month. Huge thanks to Shay Stewart, Merle Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Klimo, Melissa Crawford, Chuck, Matthew Wayne Selznick, Dave Slusher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Mike Coughlin, Dorothy Wachoko, John D., Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVries, Mike Wabshaw, Twitter user Butts and Gear, a.k.a. Wildcat, Eve Cunning, Mike Hamilton, Gaston Marino, Reed Loveland, and Ivan Asquith. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly donation today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on iTunes. And while you're over in the iTunes podcast directory, be sure to click that subscribe button. That way you'll hear new episodes the moment they are released. Thank you so much for tuning in. The Mysterious Mysteries of Toby Taylor, the Fruit Magician, is copyright 2016 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco, Executive Producer, all rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com Elf Centered is a monthly, completely improvised broadcast from Santa's Village. Join elves Gavin, Beatrice, and Gary as they talk about the latest goings-on from the North Pole. He has a pass to the radio station. I know, but he's got to go through the security check. Well, he'll be fine. Okay. You know, Gary, drop of a hat, he'll strip down to his jingle shoes. That's so. what we're worried about. Oh. He's been red-nosed. Um, really? Yes, he Ooh. has. He oh, has. no. Well, Subscribe to Elf Centered. Visit ElfCenteredShow.com today. You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 